we can always change the value of the variables that we create. Picture a variable named lives with an initial value of 3. It represents the number of lives we have in a video game. During the game, we lose a life in a battle with an enemy. We now have to reduce the number of lives from 3 to 2. Luckily for us, this is quite simple. All we have to write in the code is this. This instruction will tell the program to replace the current value in the variable lives with the number 2. It's important to understand that variables can only hold one value. In our example, we'll lose the number 3 once the number 2 takes its place. This works because the variable lives already exists. But how can the computer tell the difference between an existing variable and a new variable? This is where the var instruction can help us. By using the var instruction, we can tell the computer to create a new variable. On the other hand, if we don't use the var instruction, we tell the computer to use an existing variable. In other words, the computer will browse the shell for an existing box named lives and then replace its content with the new value. So as a rule of thumb, whenever you use a variable for the first time, you should always use the var instruction to indicate that it's a new variable. After that, you shouldn't use the var instruction for that variable ever again. If you do, it'll replace the existing box with a new one. Let's try this out in the code editor. Create a variable named lives and give it an initial value of 3. Then on the next line, change its value to 2. Once you're done, hit run code and pay attention to how the program works with the boxes.